Hi guys, this is my DIY Discovery Blonde to Brunette Non-Permanent Hair Color Tutorial. I'm using Rue Tween Time Instant Hair Color Touch-Up Stick in black. I am a natural brunette who has blonde ombre and I'm in a musical where I need to be brunette. So I'm looking for a quick and easy and non-permanent way to get that look. I did some research and found that Rue is used a lot in the film and theater industry, so I decided to give it a try. Tween Time applies like a lipstick and it washes away with shampoo. It's kind of like a crayon that you rub into your hair until you get the color that you want. It's often used for touch-ups and in between regular hair color applications, but I'm going to try and see if it will work for what I'm trying to do. Alright guys, watch the video and let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you! So, I'm going to start now. I'm going to look for just a small patch of blonde that I can start off with to try out. Okay, I'm going to just pull one of my bangs here. Okay. I just want to try a small patch right now. This has some of my natural brunette intertwined, but then you can see where the blonde ombre starts. So I'm going to try and color here, all the way down to the tip. I'm going to take Rue, the Rue crayon, and I'm going to just smooth my hair down. All right. You want to make sure that you get the front of it as well as the back. Okay. Now, over time, as you do this, you're going to actually start to create shape within your Rue crayon as this is happening right here. It looks like somebody took a bite out of it. Um, I guess I do have strong hair strands. Okay, you can see it's working a little bit. Why don't you look there? Before there were some blonde streaks here and now you can see that it's becoming more black. So that's pretty cool. Still have some more blondes down here to do. First time I did this, I wasn't going as rough and it took me a long time and I was kind of thinking does this even work <laughs> so now I've kind of got down the process which is front and back and then even the sides if you can because there's just hair color on every angle that you need to cover now the bad thing about this is it does damage your hair with application it's kind of knotting my hair a little bit but the good thing is when your crayon gets to be like this shape it kind of becomes a comb so I can kind of like comb my hair and color it at the same time so another thing about using this black crayon is that you will get some black debris on your hand as you can see right here I have some little black speckles on my hand here that's just part of the process I was reading online that black hairspray, which is another way to go from blonde to brunette, also leaves a lot of debris and it flakes a lot. And I didn't want to use that because I'm going to be borrowing a costume for the musical I'm in and I didn't want to damage it. And I didn't want any of my artificial hair color to rub on my shawl or on my headscarf. And then I return it to the customers and they're like, what did you do? And then they'll make me buy it. So I'm going to stick with this crayon because it was the safest option I could find without risking changing the hue of my color. I dyed my hair non-permanently pink. That's what it said on the box. Non-permanent was supposed to wash out. Um, it eventually did wash out. It took a really long time and it changed my hair color um, from this light blonde to an orange. And I had to go and I had to get it redone. So it wasn't worth it. I thought it'd be cool to just have like a little strand of pink, but that was the last time I decided to use anything that said semi-permanent. Or even if it says non-permanent, if it sits in your hair for some time and it's chemically based, then stay away it will mess with your hue the blonde especially if you're not a natural blonde um, it's going to disappear be altered dramatically all right let's look at what I've done here so far all right so it is kind of 
darkening nicely, actually. It looks pretty nice. There's still a blonde streak in there, but it's definitely taking blonde away. It's becoming kind of a grayish color, actually. You see that? You see how it's damaging my hair? It's almost not worth it. Look at that. That's crazy what it's doing to my hair, what my hair's doing to it. <sighs> There's a pesky little strand here. It won't turn blonde. Be gone, blonde, be gone. So I actually am using this side here because this is becoming kind of coarse against my strands and that seems to be working nicely. Like, to be fair, my hair is damaged to begin with. I did straighten it and I'm naturally curly. Man, why can't you just be happy with your hairstyle? <laughs> well, you know, you get accustomed to a certain hair color and hairstyle, and sometimes you just want to change it up, you know? Nothing wrong. It doesn't mean that I don't like my natural hair. I just want to play dress up. Alright, so originally the strand was something like this, where you had my natural brunette peeking at the top and then blonde creeping in for that ombre look and then the tips of the hair being the blonde. And this is what we got from using the crayon. So it definitely altered the look, it definitely made it darker. It didn't completely get rid of the blonde, it created sort of a grayish look. This was created more for people who have you know, grays coming in at their roots or maybe their natural hair coming in. And so this was created to actually cover the roots here. And so that would probably be more effective than what I'm doing, especially because the pressure is being applied to the scalp. And so you're not going to get as much hair damage and you're not going to have a large area to cover like I do. So. Based on my research, there are many products out there that can get you from blonde to brunette. But if you're a natural brunette with blonde like me, this is not my natural hair color. Um, there's really no safe way, 100% safe way to go from blonde to brunette in a quick and non-permanent way. With anything that I looked up, it, it had some sort of side effect, meaning the hue would change or it would really alter your hair texture like with the black hair hairspray it made your hair kind of crinkly and it also created a lot of debris that would get on your clothes semi-permanent hair dyes will definitely alter the hue of your blonde and if it eventually washes out you're gonna have a totally different blonde and you're gonna have to get it uh, recolored the way that you originally had it if you want it that way um, I looked for this because it is not going to penetrate um, the hair strands color, it's just an outer waxy coating. Um, unfortunately, I don't have the time to do my whole head or the patience or the willpower to take this crayon to my entire head. So I'm just going to wig it guys and if you're in my circumstance too, I would just suggest wigging it. Why not? You get to play dress up again and try another hairstyle while keeping the one that you love. All right. Thanks guys for watching this commentary about Rue Tween Time Instant Hair Color Touch-Up Stick and leave your comments below if you have any questions. Thanks guys.